so the so that's that's the the gufa adam is is literally the physical body which you have even after you die, and then um, while we're alive, we have the Rav Shachaim explains you have tagim, um, and then we have the nukudos, which is the verbalization or the articulation of that os, and then you have the tam, which is the nigan. I would like to discover today to sub to admokim she yodenu magas. <laughs> Uh, which part of us is like if we look in the mirror, which part of us is the letter, the font, which part of us is the tag, which part of us is the vowelization, and which part of us is the nigan? <laughs> um, in a very, very practical way, what, what, what is what is what is our nigan? You know, what what is our what is our verbalization? So to to the positive shot that we learned, positive shot that's not so positive, is that it it's connected. Um, Machshava dibur maisa, and machshava dibur maisa is maisa is what we do, and dibur is what we say, and machshava is what we think. So um, rabbis machshava is belavish. They can have a lot of different machshavas, um, and it, it really, when you think about it, and, and indulge me for a moment, it, the, it works both ways. Meaning, when I say it works both ways. Um, there's an importance to working from this direction to that direction, and another importance working from this direction to that direction. What do I mean? Like, let's say a person thinks all day about good things, but you never do anything. So what good is that? So you have a very deep machshava, really, really great. Um, some people talk the talk, but they don't walk the walk. So, so the, the, there's something to be said for getting lamaisa. So as much as we look at the maisa or the body as the most external of the entire system, it's really the most important because that's where you have total articulation of what's going on with machshava. It's actually quite um, uh, upsetting to see somebody who has good machshavas but they can't bring it to fruition. They can't bring it levisa. It's sad. I find that's a sad thing. I, uh, you know, I, I see people every week. I talk to them. They're starting another business. Yet they're poor. <laughs> it's, it's probably why because the the uh, machshava doesn't somehow bring itself down lebaisa. Um, and, and on this it's said that, um, you know, things like uh, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. <laughs> like machshava, uh, rabbis, machshava, belevish, there's a lot of machshavas. On the other hand, uh, let's just take a look at it the other way. Let's say a person does all the right bison. You do everything right. You, you, uh, you know, you, you dab it with a gartel. You, uh, you, you say all the right words. You, uh, you know, in yeshivas they have an expression that, uh, you know, does this guy know how to learn? You know, they would, in the yeshivas they have an expression, he knows the ivra. <laughs> Ever hear that expression? I mean, it's like somehow or another some people um, have this gift of being able to talk and sound like they know how to learn, but they really don't know how to learn at all. They really don't know what they're talking about. And it's, but they have all the right, uh, you know, uh, they have all the right, uh, come closer, what are you standing back? <laughs> They have, they have all the right, uh, the, all the right words, all the right, the takas, the babish, the babar of shach, and uh, you know, the, the, uh, so, you know, what, so, the, so the idea here is, I'm, I'm not saying any great chiddush, the idea is, you, you need machshava di burmaisa, and in, in a more esoteric way, you need to have the ois, because if you have the whole tire or the whole nigat of the tire, let's say somebody go up to lay for the tire and he's just singing the nigat without saying the words, or he's not even, or even if he's saying the words, but he's not saying it, milak sav, so you're not Yotze, you, have to, you can't, can't lay it by heart, you have to, you have to be Yotze. So you need the ois, you need the tag, you need, you need the, the, the kudos correct, the, the vowelization of it, and, and you need the, the nigan. Uh, it's, the, the higher you go with this, uh, the less it's ma'akiv al pi alacha. Meaning a broken ois, there's no way to, you, you, uh, you, you have to lay it again. A broken trump, <laughs> okay, you're Yotze without the trump. Uh, vowelization depends if it changes the meaning. It doesn't change the meaning. But you know, so the the the, the more the deeper you go, if you will, the less we're back on the halacha, because the halacha it has to do with 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 the with the vaisa. And this is what, what I said, shot, which I think is the abbas that when Moshe Rabbeinu had his nevua, um, what one of the things that he saw was Rabbi Akiva. And Rabbi Akiva was derish tilay tilim shel halachos, halachos bechol tag v'tag. Halachas had to do with tagim. You see from that Kibar that halachas have to do with tagim. He wasn't darish halachas from the oisius, but for the tagim, the darach hashayel chubai. Again, I like to try to discover, you know, in a real way, what is it, you know, what's our nigan? What does that mean? 
Is that, what, what does it mean? What is, what is our vowelization in, in, in that sense? What, what does it mean? But before we do those, learn a little bit inside. L'chein says the Nefesh HaChayim. Therefore, I say this is in Perak Tez Zion towards the end. After everything that we just learned and everything that I very quickly synopsized for you, L'chein HaOyved HaAmiti, if you're really an Eved Hashem B'Kavona Ritsuya, with real Kavona, the kavona of davening, lishpoich uladavek yachad betzvilosay kol habgimel bechinois nefesh ruach neshama asher nafshay klula behem. The correct way to daven, he says, extremely um, fundamental, is lishpoich. Two things. Let's watch the words. Yichavin lishpoich uladavek. Yishpoich. We learned in previous chapters means that I'm giving my all. Yishpoich, he said earlier, lishvicha pirusha legamri. Remember, we learned those words. Shvicha pirusha legamri. I'm completely emptying myself out. Ula davek and um, connecting with davek. Yachad betzvilos. What am I connecting? What am I connecting here? I'm not. We're not talking about us connecting to Hashem. That's how. That's. That's good, but that's not what we're talking about. Ladavik yachad betzilosei kola gimel bechinois nefesh ruach neshama. The idea of davening is that we connect our nefesh and our ruach and our neshama, asher nafshei klula behem, which all go under the catch-all phrase of nefesh. Nefesh ki Nefesh. Nefesh ki Every time I say a word of tefillah, we said words have all of the the ice, the tag, the nukudas, the tam. You must try with very, very a, a great effort with the purity of my heart. This is so beautiful, these words. With all of the deepest desire, lekasher uladabek al yadami mato lamada lamala seder hamadregais, nafshoi beruchai ruchai benishmasai, v'isale kulam l'sherish oisa ateva ilam oisal yarnim. I just want to explain this. What, what's first of all. Tefillahs with chuka. Chuka is is. A, if you do something, to find the right word. Fervor. Hmm? Fervor. Fervor. Okay. It means. Thing with, that's that brain is telling me to do this even though I don't want to do it. Or my feet are taking me there even though my heart is not in it. Or my heart is there but I just can't get myself to do it. No, <laughs> that's not chuka. Chuka is when all of me is doing it. <laughs> when you do something with chuka, you know, usually, Bezra Sashav, I'll be zocha to walk our children down to the chuppah, do that with chuka, hopefully. <laughs> Uh, they'll go, or, you know, really like the guy or whatever. But <laughs> um, no, but the, you know, when, when you're, you're supposed to do. You could dab with your mind. You could go through the motions of tefillah. You could do a lot of things in tefillah. But when you talk about chuka, that means with everything. But that's what the word chuka means. Chuka right. means with everything. Hmm? Intense passion. Intense. Tell, call, tell him he should call it for <laughs> chuka. So um, and I, and I think it's an important point because when, when we say, you know, it's an interesting thing, you have to daven. Let me just talk about davenology for a moment because it's so important. There, there's a, there's a, a whole. <clears throat> There's a whole list of things that that um, that happen have to happen when you daven. First of all, there is the halachas of davening. So halachas davening. Let's let's talk about shemun esrei. Halachas of shemun esrei. You have to stand with your feet together. 
you have to put your hands one on top of the other. This is the correct way to down these days. You have to um, be, be standing straight with your eyes either closed or in the sitter. Um, there's, there's all kinds of halachas. The ways you bow down, the way you step back, the way you step forward. Um, the where you dab in the makam of tefillah, a very important makam kavua. Makam kavua, both in terms of the place, you know, what's your, what's your makam tefillah, and mamash your place, the dalanamas of your place. These are all extremely important halachas that are not found in Musr Svar, they're found in Shulchan Aruch. The, 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 the Shulchan Aruch of tefillah <coughs> is very important. So here's a case of, you can learn Shulchan Aruch Hilchus Tefillah, as we do here every morning, actually. You can learn Shulchan Aruch Hilchus Tefillah, and you're doing everything right, but you're not davening. <laughs> it's possible, it's possible to do everything right. Al <laughs> Shulchan Aruch. Not so in anything else. Like if I'm doing everything right in kashrus, I'm doing it. That's all. If it's a, if it's a similar shulchan aruch, I'm doing it. If it's in your day, if, I'm so, if, if you know all every any place you look in, uh, in, in uh, even even hilchos lashon har, either I'm talking lashon har or I'm not talking lashon har. In davening, it's possible to do everything that it says in shulchan aruch almost and not do it. You, you didn't do it because it says love doy b'chol lavavchem. And so so, but what you have is the the. Then you get into the uh, the deep um, You preferably say the words of Lashon Hakodesh. You um, say it at a at a at a, uh, a volume that your ears can hear it and nobody else can hear it. Um, there, there's there are many many halachas. Certainly, you have to space it correctly. Many halachas of Dibor. So I could do everything right in my Misa, and I could do everything right in my Dibor, and I'm still not davening. And then there's the Inyanim of Machshava. Remember, Machshava, Dibor, and Misa. So now I'm, I'm doing my Machshava. What's my Machshava? My Machshava is I'm davening to Hashem. I'm understanding that, uh, you know, that everything comes from Hashem. I know Milvado. I'm understanding the halachas that I have to speak to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. I'm communicating with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. My Machshava is there. So, okay, now we're starting to daven. Comes the, the Arizal, he says, no, no, we're not there yet. <laughs> You're not there yet. You have Dibur, you have, you have, you have Maisa, you have Dibur, you have Machshav, is Dibyan. Dibyan, what's Dibyan? My imagination, says the Shulchan Aruch even. Imagine yourself if you're standing, as if you're standing in the Kodesh HaKadoshim when you're davening. It's hard for us to imagine that because we've never stood in the Kodesh HaKadoshim, but uh, imagine you're standing Babish, let's do it. Let's do it in a way that's easier. Imagine you're standing, Babish, right before Hashem. So it's more, that's that's deeper than Machshava. That's already Dibyan. That's already Dibyan. Now, those are the four elements of Tefillah, and it's it, it, so. Let's say do one without the other. Comes David Abelch. He says this lashon Ali Tefillah. <laughs> I I am my prayer. What, what what does that mean? It means Chuka. It means that if you're doing something, but shuka, you're doing it belay, benefesh, beguf, bemaisa, bemachshava, bedimyan. You're there, like your mamish present when you're davening. Shaloi matzinu, that I can think of, except for maybe my tshuva. Shaloi matzinu in kol atarakula, that it requires give tzedakah, give tzedakah. It's nice to have kavana, but the main thing is give tzedakah. If you give tzedakah, bemachshava, you never have money. It's not Sadaka, but okay, but if you keep what your Kabbalahs are, you know, nobody's asking. So all of these are but everybody everybody with me? What should is that I'm I'm having to connect with a con- I'm understanding the pure shabilos. Uh, 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 saying so that's that's not dibur. You could talk and not understand what you're saying. I think that's a Jewish chiddush, by the way. Uh-huh. 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 Or saying, Tillim. 
they used to make fun of it because for them it didn't make sense. So, yeah. so, so it doesn't make it, it, it doesn't make sense. So, but what it does is it's dibur. In other words, the nekuda. Baisa, you're doing dibur, and it didn't get to machshava. So yesh mashu, like you're bimsakin, masakin the dibur. Uh, so that's that's the pshat. But you know, on this, by the way, the shalah shalah kadosh says that every time you say a word. Of tefillah, it goes straight up to the, the the malachim, grab it, and they take it into into a higher world and a higher world, uh, as we say, o mekablin dain min dain v'amrim kadosh v'shmei meroima, right? Mekablin dain min dain. The malachim are grabbing, and the shalah says that if a word is not said correctly, they push it away. They don't take such a. They don't take a. It's like it's like giving a kadosh baruch hu, like if you're giving a fruit and the fruit is not is, has a psul. So every word. This is an important thing. Every word has to be said correctly. We have to get some tefillah elocution um, lessons here. Um, especially the shame Hashem. Somebody once said, uh, not, not in this shul, in a different shul, like uh, half the people know, half the people in the shul know how to say words properly, and the other half, David's for the other. Hmm? I'm, I'm saying it's it's a t- I, no no I don't, no so let's not talk about best not best because I think that let's let's not talk about what's a best feel that's feel it's not what David Amal said I need to feel it's not it's not a, it's of course it's a feel you're basaka the deeper you're basaka the baisa but does it have does it is it is it the feel with what a Kodesh Baruch is looking for which is clear in the chumash la abdei b'chol levavchem is ad halayv that's that's all I'm saying so when you read this. This is, this is a, a, a beautiful Kiddush. You see, I thought when I first read this, I read it wrong, but that's why I'm making this long speech here. Because when I read this, I thought, like, okay, so we're divided up into Nefesh, Ruach, and Neshama, but, uh, you know, just like our body is divided up into, uh, just like our body is divided up into, we have our heart, we have our liver, we have our kidney, we have all this. But, you know, when, you, when you're taking a walk, like, unless you're like some kind of a, you know, a health, a health fanatic or something. You're not thinking, well, you know, okay, like I'm working my kidney right now. Or, you know, this is really good for my, uh, my uh, you know, the, the, who, who thinks like that? You just, you know, that's, it's, nobody, nobody thinks about the, 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 there's a gestalt of a body, of a physical body, and that's what we're working with over here. You know, there's, there's why, why do we have to think nefesh, my ruach, my neshama, uh, you, know, you know, it's unless you're saying unless it means something. This I'm just like showing you with my th- thought pattern. Like when you lift, lift with your knees. Like okay, so there's this idea of knowing the different parts of your body which are doing different things because that helps you in the exercise of moving the physical world. Why, if I'm davening, why can't I just be me? Like the fact that there, we have this um, scientific knowledge of how we're divided up into nefesh, ruach, neshama, um, and, and an oise is divided up. Like, why? Why is this um, important? Okay, it's interesting information to get the breakdown of. You know, I'm always fascinated by this thing. But it's like looking. You can look at a cup of uh, at a cup of uh, wine and say, okay, it has X amount of carbohydrates and X amount of sugar. X amount. Or you just drink a cup of wine, enjoy yourself. You know, like why, why do why do you have to break everything down to the to the finest thing? And I didn't understand this, but but I, then I thought about it a little bit. Maybe you do understand it. And then I understood. I understood it better because what he's not saying that you need to know you know all the parts of you that are standing in front of Hashem no what he's saying is that there's an avoda of tefillah which means that we stand in tefillah we walk into tefillah and it takes us from the nefesh to the ruach from the ruach to the neshama to the dibyan of being able to lift Hashem it's it's not a an ois it, it's 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 an os that gets a tag that gets a niggin that gets gets a tab that gets a niggin. You, know, you understand what I'm saying? It's 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 a it's a um, it's a process that he's talking about here, and the process is we start off davening with hilchos tefillah, stand stand correctly, etc. Bow correctly. You 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 move from there. This is an avoda. You move from there into the dibur of tefillah. Saying the words correctly, you move from there into the machshava of tefillah, and you move from there into the dibyut of tefillah. It's it's a um, it's a, it's a method. It's a it's a process, and it's it's not that okay. Here I am. Here's my. 
Am I me or am I nefesh? It's, it's not an existential point. The point is, I'm going from the chutz to the pnim. This takes some time, by the way. It's hard, it's hard to do this. I mean, for Chazal that have very quick minds, um, it took them a shah to be making for Tefillah. For us, uh, I don't know, they just can't concentrate for an hour, or we don't have the hour. But, but the point is that it takes some time, an exercise and practice, to be able to daven in a way that I'm going from nefesh to ruach to neshama, or from os to tag, from tag to uh, nekudos, from nekudos to tam, yeah? And I'm still wondering, yo, I'm sorry, what do you want to say? I was just going to say, it sounds to me like the last step, the highest step, should be more in the beginning, that you should know for whom you stand when you get up. So it is, that is a very important question, but I, I, we, what we, un, it's, it should be the first step, but it's the hardest step, because the mechanical part is the easiest thing to do. The, the main thing is that, you know, the mechanical part is just a way of getting into the next part. Nobody would think that they're going to take three steps back, three steps forward, bow down, and not say any words. I shouldn't say nobody will think that. Why not? I'm down with my heart. You know, I'll meditate. So, no, take it, take it a step further. I still don't understand, though, and I still want to understand, I really want to understand, Bezra Sasha, um, which part of us is the Tagim and which part of us is the, is, is the Nakudas. I, I just... I'm not 100% understanding, but what I do understand thus far is that we're not talking about I'm standing there like I'm going from step to step. Let's read it again. And you'll see this. Um, yeah. The Tom. So the so the nefesh, so the nefesh Chaim in the Haga explains that the nefesh is divided into two, the actual physical goof, skin and bones, muscles, and the, the tag is like the personality of the person, the movements of the person, but it's still very goof. It's still very goof. That's where, that's where I said before, that's where halacha lies. Halachas are the tag. The people who have a halachic mind, then it can never, they're just like, you know, what, what people fool themselves into thinking like this is sort of a litvish way of doing it, completely mind, you know, it's this is shtuyot, there's no such thing. That's just nefesh, could be they're experts in nefesh in Yadav, but you can't be a bucky the tab without knowing the nekudas, it's, it doesn't, so, so real tzaddikim are, are complete on all levels, and it's also crazy, and it's probably one of the polemics of the nefesh achayim, to just be in the world of kavana without being in the world of Vaisa. And, and that's why he speaks about the zaman tvila, the, the begad of tvila, all these things are important too. The idea is the whole shlebus of the why, why stress one and not the other. The idea is to have the whole thing together. Yeah. To what extent does the Shulchan Aruch tell us about Lev? A little bit. Yechavin es liboy, shivisi Hashem l'nag disamid, v'medame b'nafshay, there's a little shayness of the Shulchan Aruch, shayu oime lifnei kodesh ha-kadoshim, yechavin b'chom mila v'mila. These are all the shayness of, of, of Simen Tzadik in Shulchan Aruch. Um, that's, those are all little shyness. But again, you have, you have, it's a, uh, how, how do we do this, go from one to the other? You know, uh, I'm, I'm thinking like, you know, Lahavdalalaf Abdullah, you know, if you want to rate, um, we shouldn't be rating each other, you know, because that, you know, that's not the right thing to do. But, but um, let's say you want to rate people, you have to rate like a politician. You know, who's going to become the president of the United States? You know, it, it, it seems, by the way, that, uh, you know, there's a lot of things you can do. You can look at what he says. Okay, let's get over that one quickly. <laughs> what he says. <laughs> it doesn't mean anything, right? But uh, if you look at what he says, you can look at what he does, you know, lifestyle, like what kind of a person is this. Um, you can look at, or you can look at what he thinks, maybe. Or you could try to find his Tom, his Nigan. Uh, it's a different, I, I want to give you a bushel, something which is very moving to me. I'm not a political person, Bukhala. everybody knows that, especially not Israeli politics. For two reasons, one is I hate it, the other is I don't know anything about it. <laughs> How do you hate something you don't know anything about? <laughs> 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 I, just don't, I, just, I just find it divisive, so I stay away. But I, I just, I, but I, I um, did on, on Slichus night, the first night of Slichus, Saturday night. So um, every year they have a tekes of Slichus in the house of whoever happens to be the Nasi, the president of Israel. 
So and, and, uh, today it's uh, Rivlin, President Rivlin is the president of Israel. So they say Slichos at his house, usually a uh, uh, chazan, you know, one of the big chazanim from the Beit Knesset Akadol comes and sings Slichos. And, uh, you know, they could, you could watch um, um, videos of this. They have old, old videos even from, uh, you know, from the, from the first presidents of Israel that the that this, this, this is the Minhag uh, Eretz Yisrael. It's a nice Minhag, yeah? So uh, uh, Rivlin, to, which to my knowledge is not outwardly um, um, orthodox, I don't think, um, but... Uh, Masorati. Masorati. Very yeah. traditional. Comes from the, comes from the Talmidei Hagra. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> Rivlin, Rivlin were the founders of Yerushalayim. Anyway, he's a nice man, I bet him. He's a very nice man. <laughs> I can tell you he's a nice man. But, but this was a very, very, uh, he decided that instead of having some chazan here, let's have it a little bit more uh, amami, you know, where people could sing along and, and people can, uh, you know, participate more, a little more karbachi, let's say. Um, I don't think he used that word, but I'm saying, you know, so he asked, uh, what's that guy, uh, that good singer's name, Razel? Hmm? Jonathan Rizal. So he invited him. He's leading Slichas. So um, beautiful. So you can watch this on YouTube if you if you are so inclined. Uh, a, a beautiful uh, video. He's saying a few nigunim with the people before the uh, Slichas began, um, and all before Ashrei of the Slichas. And then he took the microphone over to the uh, president who was sitting there with the security and everything, you know, the, the Arbuka. And uh, he goes over to him. He says, uh, you know, maybe the Nasi wants to. Uh, Sing a nigun. <laughs> so, um, so that's easy. Yeah, he takes he takes the uh, he has a good voice. But he takes the um, the microphone and he starts to sing. Avinu malkeinu. Okay, everybody knows Avinu malkeinu. Chaleinu vaneinu. It brought a tear to my eye. Why? Because I I don't know much about this man. I know about his yichus. I don't know what, what he did. I don't know. I'm not a bucky in it. But I just saw his nigun. <laughs> like, like I just saw his nigun. Here's the, the, the representative of the Jewish people in Israel, possibly in a way all of the Jewish people of the world. And he's saying, <laughs> And I, I, it's like he didn't sing um, a lot of things you could sing. <laughs> and, uh, you, know, you know, growing up, it's like an interesting thing that, uh, you know, my father, all of a shalom, so he was a good guy. He, he, he never went to a yeshiva. He didn't know how to learn, really. And my grandfather was a big talmachacha. My father, there was no yeshiva. It was times of the Depression, Buffalo, New York. But I know one thing. When he sang Avido Malkeinu, he would always cry. <laughs> then I know. When it came to, to shul on Avido Malkeinu, that's, that was his moment. So this was like an altar yid. And it's such a pleasure sometimes when you, when you push away um, all the politics and all the different miflagot and all the sinna and all the bad bashing and all the bad mouthing and you see up sanigan <laughs> here's a nigan here you know and i think that i'm just saying it as a marshal i'm not giving a political speech here but i'm i'm, I'm it's i think that's true by the way of uh, many of the leaders of this country and you wouldn't even imagine it to be true things people i think so i'm not saying all i don't know but i uh, i think it might be true more than, more than we realize that there is somehow the nigan of the um, of the of the Bnei Yisrael, the nigan of the Bnei Yisrael of Avinu Malkeinu, Chaneinu Vaneinu. So um, there's there is the ois, there is the tag, there is the dibur. How are you judging? And then there's the tam. There's the nigan, and Emerson is. It's all important. <laughs> you have to get the whole thing in. That would be ideal, I guess. Um, but at least sometimes you can see that there's, you know, there's people that let many politicians, as an example, like they talk the talk, but they don't walk the walk. So they've got the debur, but they don't have the mice. Like if they get, they, they're picking and choosing of these four elements. And some of them, this is what's interesting, is you have what people like to call uh, the, the pintalayid, and the, I don't like those terms, but what, 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 they do have the tom. There is such a thing as, as the tom, even if there isn't, the Lamaisa, it's so, it's so fascinating to me. But to me personally, I just tell you, sharing my das, it's very refreshing to see that usually a Jew is a Jew. <laughs> um, and with all the mess ups and all the crazy, crazy politics and different kind of things, and you know, somehow or another, um, a Jew is a Jew. Yeah? Like you see. Um, you yeah. Dimion a couple of times. Dimion. Dimion. And I don't, 
Yeah, Rizal brings another, right, it brings another of Chayu Yechida. Right. You, you know, there's Nefesh, Nefesh Ruach Neshama, Chayu Yechida, which weren't... It's a product of, but it's not the same thing. Yeah. A fruit is also a product of a tree, but it's not a tree. So it, it, every, everything takes it. So the next step is Dimyan. If you're talking about shuka and being koil, everything. I just want to um, take a chance here. This, this is what he means. What he means is somehow or another, you start with the halacha, but you don't end with the halacha. And this is a, a davoda for us, really a davoda to learn how to daven. I start with through machshava, through Dimyan. In um, Likute Moran, Samach Gimel. Maybe some of you have learned this or are familiar with it. But he says here, I'm just going to skip around the words, but just such an interesting idea, which at first I thought was like really weird. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then I thought about it and I said, Yeah. <laughs> da, he says, Kiakov Avinu. Yaakov Avinu. Yeah, um, and they came to Yaakov. They said, "We need to go. We need to get together. We need to go back." And Yaakov was, uh, everyone knows, you know, worried about this and upset about this, and he said, "Binyanim, I lost Yosef. Now I'm going to lose Binyamin." But anyways, he sent them. There was no choice. Kishisholach is one of Aseres Hashvatim liYosef. Sholach imahem nigun shel Eretz Yisrael. He sent along the nigun. This is the secret meaning, the code of, he told them, <laughs> which simply means take some of the beautiful fruit of Eretz Yisrael, even though it was a famine time, take some of the fruit of Eretz Yisrael, the Torah points out, shkedim, botanim, uh, different things, put it into your keli, to your knapsack, and go in front of the king, go in front of Yosef. Zimr Saaretz, he says, Bechinas, what they were really bringing was Zemer v'nigun. Sheshalach ha'yadim l'mosheh. K'mosheh perish Rashi. Like Rashi says, and I said to myself, come on. <laughs> Rashi says that he, they should come singing, come with a guitar to Yosef. Is that what he was? Uh, Rashi says, yes. Rashi says, looked up the Rashi just this morning. Rashi says, Chulachem mi Zimra Saaretz. Frank Rashi, why is the bounty of the land called Zimras? Because it's the fruit, Chakula Mizamrin Allah, says Rashi. It's the fruit that everybody is singing about. So, in other words, he, he, so comes from Nachman in his, in his uh, Dimion and says that, that it's not the fruit, it's the Zmiris. Bring the Zmiris of Eretz Yisrael. What are the Zmiris of Eretz Yisrael? For what? Pruning shear. Pruning shear? Shear. Aha, but shear. <laughs> yeah. So Zamir, Zamir has two pshatim, right? Zamir. So he says here, uh, we only have five minutes, so just, I just don't want to go over time, but I just want to tell you what he says. He says, Da, and he gives us as a marshal. He says, You should know. Kol roya v'roya yeshloi nigun miyuchan lefiha savim. Do you notice that um, the old time shepherds, meaning the biblical shepherds, um, they had a chalil. And they knew which niggin to play on their chalil or with their voices. This was the old thing, certain songs. To do what they're supposed to do, and according to him, even to affect the grass that grows. Um, and, he, and he says that, um, I'm skipping a little bit, in the Chumash, you see, the Parshish Barashah said in my book, Beginnings, I, I, I talk about this, that um, as soon as um, agriculture 
was sort of noticed as a way of living, you know, like by the time of, uh, after, right after Cain and Hevel, like it was clear that, you know, we things. So two things happen. You look in the Chumash, there's two things happen. One is um, the plow was invented shortly thereafter. But the other thing is, Vatelad Oda as Yavol, who Haya Avi Yoshev Oel Mikna, this is Parak Dalad of Rashis, Vashem Achiv Yuval, who Haya Avi Kol Tofes Kinar Vugav. He invented music with a kinar. He played the harp, the violin, whatever he played. Kitekev, listen to this Lashid, Kishahaya Ba'ilam Roya Mikna, as soon as there was a Roya Mikna, Haya Tekev Klaiz Hemer. You, you couldn't, you couldn't, the, the, the soda of the Bria, we don't know this, we, we throw chemicals at, at plants, but the, the, the soda of the Bria is music. Valkain David HaMelech, Allah V'Shalom, Shaya Yodeya Nagin, David HaMelech knew how to play. <laughs> Yodeya Nagin, by the way, that's a Lushen of, of in Shmuel Aleph, Perik Tezai, Shmuel Haya Yodeya Nagin, he knew how to play. Valkain Haya Roa, he was a shepherd. Hmm? He was a levy. He was a levy. Okay. Can now. They were all shepherds. Was a shepherd. Oh, yeah? <laughs> there you go. Vezebachinas miknaf arz zmiroi shamanu, hainu shizmiroi svinigunim, yoitzim miknaf arz kya yidea sovim magdalen bars nasa nigun. Okay. Um, he goes on with this. Uh, it's Kedai to see some Torah Samach Gimel in, in the Maran, Chelek Beis. Um, but he says here as follows. This is the sentence that I wanted to read to you. There's a lot of parts to a good song. Uh, there are different um, stanzas to a nigun. You know, everybody knows the story of the, uh, the Baskilam that came to the uh, Balatanya and they wanted to debate him. Uh, they came to him and they wanted to debate him on, on philosophy. They heard he was a big mind for university students. And uh, they, they came to him and he said, okay, like, we'll debate, but uh, my, my only request is that first we sing a niggin together. Um, and he taught them the, what we call today the Alter Rebbe's niggin, right? <laughs> the, uh, the Arba Babois. He taught you know, da 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 you know, like, he, he taught them Snigin and, and uh, they were music kaim, so they sang it together with him. And uh, by the end of the, the nigan, they sang this for a half an hour. And by the end of the nigan, um, they said, "Our questions are answered. <laughs> Nothing to debate about. It's a, it's a it's a it's an approach." <laughs> it's that nigan is arba babois. It's called the arba babois because it goes through atzil. That was his kavana in the whole nigan, um, and, and he tells us that dasha melech yesh kol nigan kula b'shleimus. The melech of a land or of the world, he has the whole nigan. Avla sarim and lahem the different departments. <coughs> you're the tenor, you're, you're the alto, you're the soprano. Asarim and lahem rakay is a chelik b'nigan. Kol echad lufi makoymai valkain. He said um, Yaakov Avinu. Yaakov Avinu, Avshalai Ha Yodeya Az Shuhu Yosef. He didn't know Yosef was Yosef. Rakafi Masha Sipur Lai Ashvatim Hanagaisev Shal Yosef. But according to what he understood of Yosef's behavior, they told him in detail um, every conversation and every movement of Yosef. So he says, I have a niggin. <laughs> I know which niggin to send Yosef. Yaakov Avinu and his, and his brilliance. Shalach Loi Nigun Ashayach Lassar Kamoisai. According to what he heard, because Yaakov said, this is not going to be only about, certainly not about bringing fruit. He needs fruit, he needs our dates. Pomegranates, sorry, what does he need that? But it's about, it, 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 these were different, they represented the nigun, the zmirois of Eretz Yisrael. Chum zimras Eretz Biklechem. Yichuan nigin shu bechinas zimras ha'aretz bakelim shelohem hayridu liish mincha mat sorry mat vosh nechoyis light boynim shkedim heim bechinas mishkoylois amidois ha'nigun how the nigun should go 
Kinasami Gedulei Haaretz. By the way, I don't think, if I can just, uh, if I'm permitted to add, I don't think that Yaakov Avinu, even according to Rabbi Nachman, where he's telling the Shvatim, you know, you walk in there singing. <laughs> don't you walk in there singing. I don't think it was, you know, it was a, it, it's not like, you know, like, I don't think they walked into the palace of Mitzrayim, you know, I don't think so. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that was a shot. But the shot is, like, um, like, what I think the instruction here, this is what, what speaks to me, the instruction here of Yaakov Levanov, the holy instruction, and which is, which how many times has this repeated itself in history where we had to plead before the king is to find the neshub of that person. And if you find the neshub of that person, maybe you even had a feeling that this is from the movements of Yosef, that this is Yosef. But find the neshub of the person and talk to the neshama. Besides for doing all the right things, besides for standing correctly and speaking correctly and even thinking correctly and concentrating correctly, tab, the nigan, the nigan, find the nigan of the person. And by finding the nigan of the person, you're totally reaching um, the, you know, the person. I just, I say, just the last thing I want to say is that, you know, in the world of Kiruv, which is, um, I don't even like the term Kiruv Rechokim. I mean, Who's Rachik, who's Karav, I don't, I don't know. But in, 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 the, in the world of Kirov, like, there's two Drachim. Um, you know, one Darach is get the person to do something, you know, and work it that way. And another, you know, work it that way, just get them to do a bit so give you know. There's another way of, um, you know, finding, you know, like a philosophical debate. You know, uh, let's, let's have a philosophical debate and I'll show you. But there's a third way, which is used less often and most effective, <laughs> I believe. The third way is, is the nigan, not only to sing, but to find the neshama of the other person. You know, a good Hasidic Sharaba knows how to do this. You find the neshama of a person and work with that because it, it is not so hard. You can have Siyata Deshmai to do this. But what's, what's with the gay art Indian of the Nefesh HaChaim is find our own neshama. So, so, so the... This is what he's telling us. The davening has to start with the lamaisa and work itself all the way up to the nigan, to the tab, to the imagination, to the, you know, every part of us, and that, until we could say when we're davening, ma'ani tefillah, it's all of me. It's all of me that's davening. There's not one part of me that's not davening here. It's everything. Everything that I've got is davening. And then we are sashavar, tefillah will be